Hello. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the web application uh, assessment checklist. So I like to use some kind of checklist when I do an assessment. It's, um, you know, it's rather a guide than really rules what to do. It's why I like it is because it reminds me to the things which I have to do. So when you start assessing an application, there could be some interesting part, which is where you go down really deep and you play a lot, you spend a lot of time with that. And then later on, you were like, oh, I should do something else. And then, and then the checklist will make sure that you are not leaving out necessary parts of the testing. So it is, it's basically a guideline for you, which tells you what kind of things you should be looking at. And um, if you're doing an assessment and you have this checklist next to you, then you can just tick uh, all the points and go through everything. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of time on some parts because sometimes it's not really relevant for the, for the application. The point is to think about whether that kind of attack or that, those kind of vulnerabilities make sense in case of that application. If they make sense, then you should look into them. And the checklist makes sure that you don't forget these. So I made this checklist for you. I use a similar one for myself at work, but I made this for you so you can use it in your project. Well, I recommend that when you start a project, just take a new empty checklist and use it for that project. You can save it with your project as well, so that when the customer sometimes asks whether you tested this and that, then you can look, at, look into your checklist and say, yeah, I did, you see, it's in my checklist. But let's quickly look into it. So this is the checklist. As you can see, it basically covers most of the things we talked about, actually more. So uh, it starts with information gathering, you know, manual, automated. Then you go into the session management vulnerabilities, all these things we talked about, and then authentication, authorization, and then comes this client-side attacks with cross-site scripting, whatever, server-side server attack, business logic attacks. We didn't talk too much about business logic attacks, but it's uh, it's an interesting thing as well, but I didn't consider it as important as the rest of the things. And then information disclosure. So what I recommend you is you don't have to follow exactly this order. Just, uh, just make sure that when you're doing an assessment, you actually covering all these things. You can, you know, when you say that the application looks really vulnerable to client side attacks, then you're welcome to start with client side attacks. The point is to at some point get back to the session management. What I really recommend is whatever happens, start with information gathering because that's going to tell you what is really your attack surface. Also, as I said, there are a few things here which we didn't talk about. Now, in the next lecture, we'll talk about what you should do next, but a really good starting point is the things on this checklist which we didn't talk about because basically those things are attacks or vulnerabilities or topics which I didn't see necessary to put into this course but I still see them necessary to be on your checklist. So I like, recommend you to look through this checklist and when you see something which you don't know what it is then start googling it, start researching it. It's an interesting topic anyways but it's not that critical that it should be in this course. If you have any questions to this checklist then let me know put it in a comment or, or in a discussion or write me or however you like. So that's all I wanted to say. To summarize it, when you do an assessment, just take this checklist. You can either print it out and do it manually or just uh, click it in this checklist and then save it. And it's going to be a good rec record for, for your assessment, but you can also show to your customer when they are asking for something like this. All right, that's all for this lecture. So take care and see you in the next one. Bye.